There are nights when all we want is to curl up in bed and watch a horror movie. We all love doing that, but what makes a scary movie scarier is knowing that it's based on a true story. Knowing that somebody actually went through that terror in reality is something that does not let one sleep easily. <laughs> Our top 10 horror movies inspired by true events. Number 10. Ravenous, 1999. A notorious box office failure when it first came out, Ravenous has since developed a small but fiercely loyal cult following, thanks in part to this historical horror movie's real life inspirations. Disturbing and bloody barely covers Ravenous' take on the Colorado cannibal Alfred Packer who in 1874 confessed to murdering and uh, eating his fellow travelers as they struggled to traverse Colorado San Juan mountains during a no pun intended deadly winter. Number 9. The Serpent and the Rainbow 1988 While not as popular or commercially successful as his first nightmare on Elm Street film, Craven's underrated The Serpent and the Rainbow uses frightening real-life stories to tell its equally frightening fictional one. Number 8. A Nightmare on Elm Street 1984 Nightmare on Elm Street director Wes Craven revealed to Vulture that the idea of teens being stalked in their sleep by Freddy Krueger came after the late filmmaker read an article in the Los Angeles Times about a Cambodian family whose young son struggled with awful, vivid terrors. He told his parents he was afraid that if he slept, the thing chasing him would get him. So he tried to stay awake for days at a time. Craven revealed in an oral story about his iconic film. Number 7. Poltergeist 1982 In producer Steven Spielberg's Poltergeist, directed by Toby Hooper, a PG-rated film that was so scary, it helped create the PG-13 rating in the first place. The Freeling family discovers their suburban home is built on a haunted burial ground and is now plagued by its violent spirits. While this movie takes place in California, the haunting that supposedly inspired the story originated 3,000 miles away in New York State. In 1958, the town of Seaford, the Herman family, claimed to be victims of paranormal activities that would be immortalized in one of the most popular films of the 1980s. They allegedly saw bottle tops pop off on their own, along with those bottles seemingly moved by an invisible hand. Number 6. The Amityville Horror 1979 Arguably the most famous horror film based on horrifying, allegedly real events, the Amityville Horror has spent more than four decades giving audiences a permanent case of night terrors with the story of a young couple and their house in Amityville, New York, haunted by violent spirits. For years prior to the film's release, the real-life Lutz family claimed to have suffered a fate similar to that of their fictional counterparts. Number 5. Jaws 1975 Fans of this Steven Spielberg blockbuster and Peter Benchley's novel of the same name know that Jaws is based, in part, on a true story, but not the one that they are thinking of. The film about a great white shark terrorizing a New England beach town owes most of its game-changing legacy not to the 1916 shark attack on the Jersey Shore that is mostly associated with it, but a rather more obscure incident from 1964. In the introduction to his book, Benchley reveals that he came up with Joss upon reading an article about a fisherman Frank Munda's frightening encounter with a 4,500-pound great white off the shores of Long Island. Number 4. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 Another horror film loosely based on the life and crimes of Killer Ed Jean, Toby Hooper's landmark horror film capitalized on Gaines' notorious exploits to help create one of the genre's most iconic and terrifying figures, Leatherface. Wearing a mask of raw human skin, similar to the ones worn by Jean's lamps at home, 
cringe, Leatherface was front and center on the film's marketing campaign, as was based on True Events moniker that was employed to attract a wider audience. While the plot is almost entirely fictional, despite the famous tagline, it's no less terrifying that certain story details can be pegged to real-life horrors. Number 3. The Exorcist, 1973 Quite possibly the most terrifying horror film ever made, and certainly one of the best, The Exorcist becomes even scarier when you consider its story about a young Washington DC girl possessed by a demon is closer to truth than fiction. William Peter Blatty, who wrote both the Oscar-winning screenplay and the best-selling 1971 novel, was first inspired by the 1949 real-life exorcism of a 14-year-old boy. A student at Georgetown University at the time, Blatty became fascinated with the Washington Post article headline, Priest Frees, Mount Rainier Boy Reported Held in Devil's Grip. Number 2. The Birds, 1963 Another Hitchcock classic, The Birds' nail-biting tale of a small town struggling to survive an invasion of violent birds is based on a frightening event that occurred in a sleepy part of Santa Cruz, California. The Birds' novella, written by Daphne Dumas and Hitchcock's film, owe their origins to a 1961 event that briefly upended life in Santa Cruz. A local newspaper there documented a rare attack by a massive flock of seabirds. They littered the streets and front lawns after colliding with buildings and swarming citizens. The story goes that three days after reading the newspaper's article, Hitchcock phoned the paper to tell them that he would be using the piece as research for the terror he was about to inflict on Bodega Bay, a real town north of Santa Cruz that luckily hasn't actually ever been attacked by avians. Number 1. Psycho 1960 Alfred Hitchcock's black and white classic is as timeless as its real-life origins are infamous. The story of Norman Bates, Anthony Perkins, and his mother, Issues, is said to be inspired by the story of Ed Gain, a Wisconsin man who was convicted of murder in the 1950s but is suspected of having a much higher body count. On top of being a killer, Gain was an amateur grave robber prone to making unique home decor, including a lampshade composed of human skin from a person's face. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I am sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.